What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Olympics are starting in 24 hours, and we're going to go through the road to the gold medal for the world number one. He's playing for history at this tournament. He's trying to get the Golden Grand Slam, trying to get his first gold medal in the singles at the Olympics, and he's playing for history. A lot of pressure on the world number one, so let's see who he has to beat to get that Golden Grand Slam. So Djokovic's first round opponent will be against the Bolivian, Dillian, who is the current world number 135. So they've never actually played before. They've never crossed paths. It'll be a first time meeting, but you can expect Djokovic should get that win pretty easily. In the second round matchup, he's probably going to play against Juan Leonard Struff, the big German. Now these two have played a lot of times before, five times in fact, with Djokovic winning all five matches and he leads their head to head on hard courts 4-0 as well. So Djokovic has got the confidence and he has the record against Struff. Last time they played on hard courts was actually the 2020 US Open with Djokovic getting an easy three set win. So if Djokovic does play Struff in the second round, you'd expect that Djokovic gets through. In his third round matchup, based on the seedings, you'd expect that Djokovic is going to play the number 16 seed for Kina. Now these two have played the one time before that was on the clay courts of Rome only a couple of months ago and Djokovic got the straight sets win there. It was actually a pretty easy straight sets win. And for Kina being more of a clay quarter, if Djokovic can get an easy win on clay against a clay quarter, a hard court shouldn't be a worry for Djokovic. So you can expect that Djokovic is probably going to get through this one pretty easily. His quarterfinal matchup. Now, this is where things get really tough because going by the seedings, it's going to be the number five seed Rublev, who has never actually played Djokovic, which is kind of crazy to think. Both Djokovic and Rublev have been around for the last couple of years in that top 10. They've never crossed paths. Not even at the ATP Finals last year. They haven't crossed paths, which makes it a very dangerous matchup for Djokovic. These are two of the best hardcore players of the year as well, with Rublev holding a 20-win, 4-loss record on hardcourts in 2021, including a title in Rotterdam. And don't forget, he won the ATP Cup with Team Russia as well at the start of the year. And for somebody like Djokovic, who hasn't played this guy before, he won't know what to expect. Could be a dangerous matchup. And and of course, Rublev has beaten Nadal on clay this year, which is a huge match and a huge win. He was also beaten Federer on hard courts before as well. So Djokovic has got to watch out because Rublev is a very, very dangerous opponent. Heading into the semifinals now, and the most likely player he's going to play is number four seed, Zverev. Now, Zverev does have a very tough draw with a lot of good players, so if Zverev does make it to the semifinals, he'll be in some form, and that'll be a tough match there for Djokovic. However, Djokovic does lead the head-to-head 6-2, so has a commanding lead against Sasha Zverev. But the last two times they've played have actually been on hard courts. Both of those this year. Djokovic winning both of them. But both of them have been very close matches. One at the ATP Cup, which was a three-set win to Djokovic. And the other one being at the Australian Open with Zverev having chances to get to a fifth set there. He eventually lost in four to Djokovic, but he had chances there, Zverev. In the final, most likely he's going to play the world number two, Daniel Medvedev. Now, he does have a good record over Medvedev. Five wins, three losses. So has got the advantage there and probably has the confidence over someone like Medvedev. The last time they played was actually at the Australian Open this year in the final, and Djokovic destroyed Medvedev. Everyone thought that Djokovic was going to lose. Maybe he was going to go five sets, and Djokovic came out and destroyed Medvedev in that final. But this is a best of three set match, and that's always a question mark because the last time they actually played in a best of three match, Medvedev got the win. That was at the ATP finals last year. Not only did he get the win, it was a straight sets win for Medvedev. So Medvedev has beaten Djokovic in best of three set matches in the past on hard courts. So it's going to be a very interesting gold medal match if it is Djokovic versus Medvedev, because this year it's best of three. So there it is, the road to glory, the road to the gold medal for Novak Djokovic. It doesn't look easy. First couple of matches look pretty simple, but after that, Rublev, Zverev, Medvedev to win the gold medal, keep that golden grand slam alive. It's going to be tough for Djokovic. Only best of three set matches all the way through as well. And that is always going to be tricky for someone like Djokovic because in best of three sets, anybody can win it. So very interested to see how Djokovic can beat some of those big names towards the end of the week. Let me know down in the comments below, how far could Djokovic go? Now, I think he's going to win the gold medal, but I think at the very least, he's going to make the final. He'll at least make it to the semifinals and get maybe a silver medal. He doesn't want the bronze medal. He's already got one of those, but I reckon he's going to either get a silver or gold medal this year. I'm thinking he's going to get the gold because he's just, I mean, he's just playing for legacy. He's playing for something bigger than himself. He's playing for Serbia. We know he loves playing for Serbia and he gets fired up. So Novak Djokovic is playing for the Golden Grand Slam, playing for history, but he's got some tough opponents to get there.